Student protests continued on Long Island today in the aftermath of recent uh, shootings in Texas and upstate Buffalo. Today, students at Plainview Old Bethpage High School called for change and staged a walkout. News 12's Macy Eglin was there. These kids could have been future musicians, leaders, and future class clowns, just like the ones we're classmates with. But they had their lives cut short. The students here at Plainview Old Bethpage JFK High School are demanding change, holding a walkout to protest recent gun violence and honor the young lives lost in Uvalde, Texas. I would just like to see a world in which people don't have to fear to live their lives. Students don't have to fear to go to school. The students here organized this with the help of school staff, including their principal, who says they were inspired by a similar walkout put together after the Parkland school shooting. It's very sad that we are in this place yet again and nothing really has changed. But this time, students say something has to be done. They acknowledge that their views are different about what exactly that change is, whether it be stricter gun laws, funding for increased school safety measures, or access to mental health resources. But they all agree we cannot lose any more innocent lives. We can all agree that these kids shouldn't have died, and the kids in the future, they shouldn't they have to feel fear when they're going into school. And we should focus on that rather than all the other things going around. The students say it has become their generation's responsibility to solve this problem that affects kids and communities across the nation. And despite an increase in threats following the shooting, they won't give up the fight to create positive change and encourage others to do the same. I think the best thing that you can do is stand up and continue to advocate for what you're passionate about. Because this affects everyone, adults, us, our future generation. If I ever choose to have kids, it's going to affect them, and I don't want it to. Macy Egland, News 12. Now, throughout the day, the students and teachers also went through their active shooter safety protocols in each class. They say they do active shooter drills every month and have installed other technology in the halls and entrances to keep students safe.